Have you ever wondered where the food you buy comes from? If you're like me, you look at product labels when you're grocery shopping. But you may not know what to look for, or what the Canadian content information on product labels means. So Canada's federal government has developed guidelines to help you understand claims that labels make about Canadian content in your food. Claims of Canadian content on a food label must be truthful and not misleading. The ones you will see most often are Product of Canada, Made in Canada from Domestic and Imported Ingredients, and Made in Canada from Imported Ingredients. Let's start with um, this can of tomatoes. It says Product of Canada. In order for a food product to say Product of Canada on the label, most of it has to be Canadian. That means that all, or virtually all, of the major ingredients, processing and labour used to make the food product must be Canadian. Generally, only a very small amount of ingredients contained in the food may be imported. That amount is 2% or less. These ingredients might be spices or additives found in these tomatoes. The uh, product of Canada on this bottle of canola oil means that the oil seeds were grown and harvested in Canada and processed into oil in Canada. When I buy fresh meat, I always look for the product of Canada. That way I know that this chicken, for example, was hatched raised and processed right here in Canada. I prefer to buy product of Canada, but I understand that some ingredients used to make our food are not always available here and some cannot grow in Canada. So I look for other types of labels that help me decide which products to bring home. There are two types of made in Canada statements that tell me that all the ingredients in these products were not grown here, but the product itself was made in Canada. Well, let's take this strawberry jam as an example of the first type. Its label says, made in Canada from domestic and imported ingredients. This means that the jam was made in Canada using both Canadian and imported ingredients. Uh, this bottle of salad dressing. It says, made in Canada from imported ingredients. That's the second type of made in Canada label. It lets me know that the product was made here in Canada and that all of its ingredients are imported. In both cases, this additional information about the ingredients, which is called a qualifying statement, must be on the label. Other claims that describe a Canadian contribution may also be used as long as they are truthful and not misleading for consumers. Well, take these frozen peas, for example. They say grown in Canada. Other statements will tell you exactly which ingredient is Canadian. This package of tortillas, for example, says made with Canadian wheat. This box of instant oatmeal reads, made with 100% Canadian oats. This means all of the oats are from Canada. Other ingredients like the sugar in this product might have been imported. Some statements explain what level of processing occurred in Canada, like this bag of coffee beans, roasted in Canada, or uh, this frozen dinner, prepared in Canada. Some companies may use a maple leaf on their label. This can help you identify products that have a Canadian contribution. A maple leaf may be used on a food label only if a statement about Canadian content is placed close to the maple leaf. So when you look at the maple leaf, look for product of Canada, made in Canada, or a similar statement near it. That will give you more information about the product. Some groups in Canada have logos to help you identify Canadian products. For example, the Canadian Cattlemen's Association developed the Canadian Beef Brand Mark, which identifies that the beef was raised and processed in Canada. Pork Market in Canada has their brand mark, which tells me this pork was born, raised, and processed right here in Canada. This uh, chocolate ice cream has a declaration that says 100% Canadian milk. This statement means that all of the milk and all other milk ingredients are Canadian but other ingredients, like the sugar and the cocoa used to flavor it, could be imported. One easy mistake that many consumers like myself make is thinking that some logos and statements mean the product is Canadian when they often don't. For example, this Canada Organic Standard logo shows me that the yogurt I bought has met the Canadian government's standards for organic food. Any food that meets the standard could have the logo on the label regardless if it contains domestic ingredients, imported ingredients, or both. Grading statements indicate quality of a product, not Canadian content. This jar of honey says Canada number one. It tells me that this honey meets the requirements of the number one grade established in Canada, but it could have been imported from Argentina. Even fresh produce can include grading statements. These apples 
are given the Canada Extra Fancy grade. However, they could have been imported. You don't have to feel overwhelmed by the information on a food label. Although companies are not required to use them, you can rely on the federal government's Product of Canada guidelines to help you identify Canadian content and process it. That way, you know you're bringing home products from Canada's producers and processors who are dedicated to excellence, safety, quality, and environmental responsibility. Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada wants to help inform consumers just like you about the benefits of looking for Canadian foods at the grocery store. To learn more about how to identify Canadian food products, the advantages of buying Canadian, and great recipes using Canadian ingredients, please visit www.eatcanadian.ca.